everyone, I'm Anna and I'm the creative designer from ActiveIQ. You may remember me from our Easter craft episode where we made an Easter bunny. Well today we are going to be doing a bat hat for Halloween, so here we go. First you take your piece of card, now I've chosen a piece of black card um, as bats are generally black, however please feel free to use any colour you want, orange, pink, yellow, sky's the limit. So what we're going to do first is cut this out. So we are going to want to make a strip. So we're going to draw a strip along here with the scissors. Now be careful with the scissors and obviously make sure um, you've got a parent or guardian supervising you um, when you're using the sharp objects. So we're just going to cut that out. And there we have a nice strip that can go around your head. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a big head and this is not gonna fit. So, for my head, I'm going to need two strips. So what we're gonna do is we'll just line that up with that one. All right, you can see that that's the same size. I'm just gonna do a snip there so we know how big it is. And then we've just got to carefully make sure that we are cutting along the same size all the way along. There we go. Okay, so now it's going to be big enough to go on my head. So we'll just do measure this around my head. So the first side, we'll just put those two bits together like that. Get a stapler and just do a staple there and a staple there. So now you've got two staples and you've got a nice long band. Now we can put this around our head to measure our heads. So if we put this around like this, you can see that my head is up there. So, now that we've got the length, we can just put a staple there and a staple there, and we can cut off this excess bit here. So just check that that fits. Yep, lovely, but there's something missing. I think we need a bat for a bat hat. So, the fun part starts. What we're going to do is we're gonna get our pencil and we're gonna draw a bat face. So, it could be any size you want, any face you want, but for now we will just draw a basic circle. There we go. And then some ears. Lovely. And that is our basic template. So, what we will do is we'll cut that out be as rough as you want okay so that's one ear and there's the other ear and now we're just going to cut around the rest of the head. Okay, so now what we want to do is take the hat and the head um, and we'll turn it around because obviously on the side we've got the pencil marks. You can cut, you can uh, erase those out with your rubber like with that. Um, however, just turn it around and you don't have to see the back. So let's see how that fits on there. That's gonna be like that on there, so that's great. So now we need to finish off the face. So for this, I have got some googly eyes and I've got them in all different sizes as well. So I've got big ones. Uh, so let's have a look and see which ones look best. So there's those nice big ones. Oh, we've got medium sized ones. I think for a bit of craziness, we're gonna go for the big ones. So, got my Pritt stick, and I'm just gonna stick those on there. You don't have to use googly eyes if you don't have them. Happy for you to use uh, drawn eyes that you've drawn on pieces of paper, and then stick those on. Anything you want. So stick those on there, lovely. 
Okay, so now our little bat is missing a mouth and mouths are usually pink on the inside because we're going for like a bit of a cartoony kind of bat. So under here, we've got some nice pink paper. You can have red as well, any color you want. So just gonna draw a quick face. So let's just check the sides against here, yep. So I'm gonna do a nice big smiley bat there. And we're gonna cut that out. Like so. Again, doesn't have to be neat. Um, but you guys are gonna take your time and make it look extra special. Nearly there. Okay, again, quick tip pencil on this side we're going to turn it over and we're going to stick it on the back space like that so it's nice and covered up I'm just going to neaten that little face up because we want him to look really nice there we go neaten up the edges lovely okay so we're going to take our Pritt stick or if you don't have Pritt stick feel free to use some sellotape double-sided just fold it over it's stuck in the web here. You've seen these creepy spiders that I've got for Halloween. Look, ooh, lovely. Right, okay then. So now our little bat's looking a bit odd. What's it missing? I think it's missing some teeth. So now we're gonna go on to some white card and we're gonna draw some little fangs. So we're gonna do one fang and we're gonna do another fang now you can do these sharp as you want big as you want not a problem however you want to make your bat look it's completely up to you so there's one fang that's just dropped down there let's do the other one lovely okay so let's move do some tidying up right so now our bat has got some fangs yes and again the trick turn over so you don't see the pencil marks and we are gonna just glue that on here one fang and two fangs yes Right, that is starting to look very bad like and he's nearly ready to go onto the hat. But he's missing one crucial thing and that is his bat wings which help him fly. So we are gonna get our piece of card again and we are gonna get our pencil and we're gonna draw two bat wings now down like this. I'm gonna do a nice big curve and then some nice little things there. Lovely like that. And then we want to do the same for the other side so nice straight line down there, big curve and then the definitions of our wing. One, two, three. Great, now we're gonna cut these out. A lot of cutting today, so make sure you have got an adult with you for supervision. There's one wing. Right then, now is the fun part if you haven't had fun already. So, we've now got our bat wings. And now we just need to assemble our hat. So we can either do this with glue or we can do this with sellotape. Now I'm gonna demonstrate with sellotape how we can do double-sided sticky tape. So we take our sticky tape and we just wrap it round on itself. 
and we stick this to the back of the bat's head like that and stick it onto the hat. Lovely. Now we need to do the same with our bat wings. So what we're going to do is get some colour tape again, roll it back on itself and we're going to do it as close to the middle of the wing as possible and we're just going to stick that underneath the head so it's hiding the lines and same again for the other one so roll it back on itself put the tape in the middle the wing where the straight line is and we're just going to line that up there and you will have your very own bat hat like this da -na 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 bat hat did you enjoy that guys i know i did right so competition time i want you all to send in your bat hats to me extra points if you, there is a picture of you wearing the hat so the prize for this is a 25 pound amazon voucher all you have to do is email me at marketing at activeiq.co.uk and send in your entry. So picture of you with the hat, great. Thank you everyone for watching and I can't wait to see your bat hats.